Hi ladies, it's Ali here and I thought I'd just go through um, Denver Rollering and just show you what I actually started with and to help you with your Denver Rollering journey. So the product I have been using, which I started with, is Environ and the needle is a very short needle. It was a 0.2 which is perfect just for beginners. So basically it won't penetrate too far in to make you bleed or and it probably wouldn't help the collagen um, to reduce so much but it does add little micro channels so whatever you put on afterwards will be absorbed into the skin. So I've washed my face and I've washed my hands so there's no bacteria coming going into my skin. Now when I wash my face I recommend that you don't use any balms or anything which has got any uh, residual sort of product on because you just want it squeaky clean because whatever you're going to be putting it will go straight in. Now I've washed every time I use my derma roller before and after I always use rubbing alcohol. So I've got some here which I've already used. Now I always keep it in its packaging. So that just helps protect it. One word of warning, if you ever drop it, make sure none of the needles are bent because if you have bent needles, you don't want to be putting that onto your skin. It actually would make it damage and, and be even you know, worse. Now here you can see the needles are very, very, you can't even see, they're very, very fine. And they are very, and they're very short, to be honest. I think there's about 108 on there. As I say, it's a 0.2. You can use this literally every day because it's so fine. It's not gonna to do too much damage. So what I would do is then, and I've already done this, is use my rubbing alcohol, tie my hair back, Now I always derma roller in the evening because if it does go slightly red it just settles down for the day for the next morning. So we've got our derma roller there. Now I always start here jawline and I just go slowly across here. Look at that. It really does help smooth everything out. Now obviously you can get a lot larger needles um, which would make make it red you know would make it red um, and then crisscross it once you've done one part then go the other I always like to do different angles to be honest it's good if you have acne or any scarring although saying that if your acne is quite active you don't want to be really doing this on anything to make you know to move bacteria around or spread it onto the face so there. and then i'd go that way let's say because the needles aren't so long you know you can use it every day now when you get to this part don't go too high up from here i would stop there Now I chose Environ because they're a good brand. I actually had seen an interview with the owner who had, I don't know how old he was, but he was an older guy and had the most amazing skin. So I thought if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. So there, so we'll go there. Right, and then I'd work on this side. Again, up, all the way along, across, and another. I think it's always best to start off with a very short needle because you can always work your way up um, and that's probably the best way. If you've got sensitive skin it may not be the best. Now not to go too hard either, you don't want to be pushing right in, you just want to be just a little bit. There and up, then on here, and just crisscross it, and then I'd work up here. 
small feathering motions. Now it's really good for pause, so if you can do your nose, always makes makes me want to sneeze and my nose starts running at this point. It does help reduce those pores. I can do this on a 0.2 on my nose, but 0.5 I think it's asking a bit too much. I just find it too just too much for me. And the same with here, these parts here. I can do this with a 0.2 but 0.5 it's just I do 0.5 on this part in here but sensitive parts no way but the 0.2 I can go all the way around with no problem and it's not actually making my skin too red oh I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> right so with a 0.2 you can actually do it on the neck if you do I do tend to find it gets quite um itchy just a little bit so I'm not gonna overdo it just go very fine and under the chin Again, and then crisscross, small feathery motions. There are lots of these on the market. As I say, you do get what you pay for. Um, I do like the environment. But I have bought from Amazon as well and they've, they've been fine, but to be honest, they do set, tend to sort of catch slightly whereas this doesn't I can tell it's better quality always never forget those bits a lot of people do and I just that's where you tend to get quite wrinkly and on the other side Um, if you suffer with rosacea, I wouldn't um, use this. But as I say, for older skin, to be honest, you know, you should really be starting this from sort of 25, 30 onwards um, to prevent rather than trying to cure. I've gone beyond that. <laughs> right, there'll be more there. Right, I think we're kind of there. There. I think that's in the furrowed brow. Right, so now it's now ready for me to put some more rubbing alcohol on and then I will let it dry. I'll then actually after the rubbing alcohol, I'll then put some very hot water. Then I'll just let it to dry, leave it to dry, and then it can go back into its case. I just come to there. Now, once I've done that, I will then apply some hyaluronic acid um, or some peptide, probably hyaluronic acid would be better. Um, help plump, because whatever now, now I've made those channels and I can, whatever I put in is going to absorb in better. So I hope this has been useful and please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.